children in Pakistan will drop out of school due to the COVID-19 crisis. The Citizens Foundation is committed to bringing these children back to school. Donate now to support TCF in reopening schools and reigniting dreams. For further details, please call us or visit our website. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Sidra Iqbal here and it is my pleasure to welcome you all for this session which is rightly themed and uh, you know worded as reopening schools and reigniting dreams. On behalf of the Citizens Foundation, I'd like to welcome you all. That beaming smile on the students' faces is what we live for and what we passionately work towards. The last two years have not been easy. And of course, there has been, you know, it has been an uphill task to stay connected with the students. But Alhamdulillah, we are back uh, to the grind and it is going to uh, increasingly look like the world that we knew of uh, before the pandemic. The schools are reopening, they've already reopened, the students are back, but what have been the challenges, the learnings and the opportunities in all of it is what this conversation is all about. Before we actually clock off 2021, let's have this conversation. So first up, ladies and gentlemen, joining me is an amazing speaker, somebody who's dedicated to the cause and has been passionately working with the Citizens Foundation. Let's welcome Mr. Riaz Kamlani, the Executive Vice President of TCF. Assalamu alaikum, Riaz Wa alaikum assalam, Sidra. Um, so good to be here. And as always, it's uh, wonderful to see you helping TCF in every possible way. It's my pleasure, Riyal Saab. Mujhe ye bitaiye ke if we look at the year 2020 and 2021, they have not been easy, uh, especially more so for the most vulnerable, the underserved communities in Pakistan that had limited accessibility and connectivity. In these two years, how has TCF been connecting with their student body? Uh, you're absolutely right. It hasn't been easy. And um, I think this struggle became evident as we stepped into lockdowns. This was, you know, around April or 2020. Um, and so there, what happened was that the digital divide in our country in terms of uh, where you belong, in terms of the strata, became very evident. Um, there were kids who were coming from, you know, more fluent backgrounds who switched seamlessly to a Zoom-based classroom. For TCF kids, that wasn't the reality. Um, and that became starkly evident. Um, but as you said, at TCF, we believe to do uh, that we must do our very best for the kids. Uh, so we've stepped back and we did a rapid research on what happens when there is a famine, what happens when there's civil war, when there is no internet, no connectivity, no physical um, learning space possible. Um, and we got two compelling answers out of that. One was that in such circumstances, mass media works. The other was that self-learning is something that is very important. So we designed a program around those two pillars, and that's really what worked for TCF. Mm -hmm. And please tell us a little about Ilm Ka Angan. I believe it's a magazine, it's an initiative that uh, was one of the silver linings of the pandemic. And I'm hoping that it will continue even as the schools reopen. Absolutely. It's a wonderful story. So uh, what mm -hmm. happened was that our schools closed around end March. Um, and as I said, we kind of discovered from research that TV programs and magazines could work. Um, and we were looking for a name. The name came up to be Elmka Angan, which is Courtyard of Learning. Um, and what we started was a TV program and a magazine, both under the same name. So that yeah. through a TV program for very young children, you can have an engaging uh, experience for them because TV has a large penetration across Pakistan. Um, and through the magazine, they could go through a route of self learning. Um, it was distinctly, I remember, on the 2nd of April that I reached, to, reached out to Sanya Saeed Saiba to say, you know, to request her to help us with the TV program. She took about 30 seconds to say yes, just like you always do, um, and was with us to help. The, the initiative started on the 2nd of April. The first TV program was aired on the 19th. The first magazine came out something around the 25th or the 26th of April. Um, the TV program had about 18 episodes running um, across PTV. Um, we had a viewership of about 6 million kids across Pakistan in this world, you know, from the remote yeah. corners. Yeah. Um, and the magazine, really, we looked at social emotional learning. We looked at what is it that a child can learn on his or her own, assuming that the parents aren't literate. 
So we scaffolded learning in that way that the child could do DIY activities, that there was a help column where you would write to Nadeem Chacha and Nadeem Chacha said so you would say that, you know, I'm getting bored at home. What do I do? And uh, mm -hmm. we had people who worked on mental health behind that who could respond in a manner that was compelling. Um, so both those initiatives worked very well. Um, on the magazine part, we had about four or five issues in the pandemic. We thought it was a great idea. It continues. I just talked to the team this morning. We are on a 19th issue now. Um, and it continues on. And we've also embedded QR codes now. So you are uh, also able to look at audiovisual media through the magazine. So it's progressing. Yeah. I am, you know, this is music to my ears. But there are some, all these initiatives that uh, literally came out of a calamity, you know, an uncertain time. Um, at the same time, a number of reports are pointing to a very real learning loss. I mean, uh, be, it be, the, be it be the teachers or the schools, they've been struggling because the gap has been so huge. Now, when the students come back, there is, you know, a serious concern how to fill that gap. So what is DCF doing about these, uh, the, the learning loss? So the learning loss is significant. The initiatives that I mentioned were aimed at continuity of learning, but they can't compensate mm -hmm. for the learning that would happen in a full-time learning mm -hmm. environment. So as kids have come back, um, the magnitude of the learning loss, to put it very simply, is across a period of, let's say, almost two years, where a child mm -hmm. should have had about 400 days of learning at school. A typical child in Pakistan has it about 100 or 120. So there's been a significant crunch of the physical learning time that is available. So the learning loss is a real reality. Um, we did the programs, but then as we're coming back to schools, we said they need to address this as well. So um, we've put together a couple of remediation programs, and that remediation is very well structured. So um, we've called it Agaz, um, a new beginning. And mm -hmm. what we have done is, let's say, there is a child who is currently in grade four. Um, the first eight weeks of school, when the child came back into school, he would have gone through that um, Agaz pack, which is through eight weeks is taking the child through some learning outcomes from grade two, then some of grade three, and then progressing on to grade four. So we have... Uh, picked out those particular learning objectives that have a progression and through that to ensure that after eight weeks, the child is at least in a reasonable enough position to be able to um, comprehend what is happening in grade four. Um, it I seems to have yeah. worked and that's feedback that we receive on the ground. I think that's a wonderful thought and it uh, kind of reminds me of that Chinese proverb that in order to truly progress in life, you need to have that beginner's mindset. And I can see some logical, uh, straight in the face advantages of it, because if the child is reminded what he already knows, there's that feeling of, oh, I know this and I'm not unworthy. I'm not unintelligent. This is this is easy for me. So I think we're, we're really gathering on that. But another aspect of uh, the learning loss is, of course, the mental pressure and the emotional pressure it has caused for students. How is TCF addressing that? I believe it's a challenge for the entire academia, the entire schooling system, that kids have either come back feeling very anxious or they're feeling very avoidant. And they, you know, their friendships have suffered, their routine has suffered. So how are we addressing that at TCF? Doing many things on that because social emotional well-being is very important, particularly for children at a very young age. So in terms of the continuity program and the magazines, as I mentioned, we had embedded that as a very clear component so that um, that balance is retained even while kids are not, are not at school. As they've come back at school, we've again researched and come up with things that could really have an impact. Um, and many examples around that, but I'll just take two. One of the practices we have begun as, um, as a consequence of uh, this particular experience is what we call Khair Makta, which is welcome. So when kids come in the morning every day, there's a circle that comes together. Um, and the kids will sit in that and share how they are feeling. Um, and that expression of feeling is something that allows them an element of catharsis with those two who are close to them, with their peers. Um, at the end of the day, you do a jaiza, which is a review of the day. And in that jaiza, you say, what are the things that I'm grateful for? What are the things that I want to apologize to someone for because I've done something wrong? Or what are the things that I've learned today? So a child really takes a log of those learnings and goes back. So these are two practices that seem to be a very powerful thing, a khair magdam and a jaiza. The other bit that we've done is really strongly focused on play-based learning. So now right. in most of the schools, what you have is a cabinet of choice, whether it's uh, schools that you've adopted from the government or those TCF running itself. What you have for the early years is a, is a choice time, as we call it, where children will do unguided, unrestricted play. 
um, I was recently at a school in Chakwal and, you know, the student development period, as we call it, the bell went off. The kids all came out in the courtyard. They had their stacks of toys. The boys were playing, playing with the kitchen set. The girls were playing with the doctor set and they were delighted. They were just having free play. Um, those kind of initiatives, we believe, allow a child to settle back in with an element of joy. And if that is there, mm -hmm. then social emotional well-being is taken care of. I think that's that's great news. Ria Sab, I think congratulations is also due because uh, a lot of our viewers must also already know that TCF has been selected as one of the top 25 projects worldwide by Expo 2020 Dubai's best practice program. And uh, it's small steps, but big leaps. It's about the impact. It's about the impact of sustainable solutions. And um, for those of you who would be visiting Dubai, perhaps in these holidays, uh, you must know that at the Opportunity Pavilion is where the display is at. And it's running from the, it's there from the 2nd of December, 2021 to the 2nd of January, 2022. Yasab, how do you feel about the display? And do you think it would really take the cause and the work that you're doing for the underserved that TCF has been championing uh, to all corners of the globe? It's another element of recognition of TCF's work. And I think um, our heads are bowed in humility. Uh, we are humbled by it. Um, and it's not simply a recognition of any aspect of management. What I think it's really a recognition of um, are the supporters around the world. And there are thousands of them who own this cause and who support it in every possible way. And I think most importantly, is a testament to our kids, um, the galvanizing variable that brings all of us together. As you said, you know, the smile and the bright eyes and that um, in that child, that's what you know they live for. So um, I think it's it's a recognition of those elements, and we have a small humble part to play in that. So for me, it's just not reigniting dreams. It's about reigniting the dreams and the joy. The joy is where you know that makes learning fun. It makes it lasting and sustainable. Thank you so much, Rayasa, for joining me for this conversation. And I love the ideas, the vision, and the hard work that you and the team has put in. But also, just like we say that, you know, we we must taste how it's actually happening and it's working out in the micros. So for this conversation, we'll also be joined by a principal from the TCF schools. And um, I'll take her on right after you. But once again, thank you so much, Rayasa, for being here with us. Thank you, Sidra. Always a pleasure. Achaji, so for those of us who just joined us, this conversation is all about the reopening of schools. The students are back, but what are some of the challenges and, of course, the opportunities in that? So, I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. She is a principal at uh, one of the TCF schools. She has a lot of experience. कि जब उन्होंने स्टूडेंट्स को वापस स्कूल्स में वो आए अपनी रूटीन पे आए तो क्या डिफरेंसेस उन्होंने नोटिस किए क्या इसमें अपॉर्चुनिटी थी क्या चैलेंजेस थे टीचर्स के लिए भी अस्सलाम वालेकुम शमाला जी वालेकुम अस्सलाम सबसे पहले मुझे बताइए जी कि ओए होए आपके पीछे आप प्रिंसिपल्स को भी ये मसले होते हैं उनके यहां भी बच्चे शोर मचाते हैं ये तो बड़ी हैरानगी की बात है बट मुझे ये बताएं शमाला जी इतने अरसे के बाद जब बच्चे स्कूल में वापस आए तो उनके अपने रवैयों में उनके तरीके कार में उनके एटीट्यूड में क्या आपने कोई फर्क देखा जी मैम बिल्कुल सबसे पहले तो आप सबको अस्सलाम वालेकुम मेरी तरफ से और उसके बाद मैं यह कहना चाहूंगी कि मुझे बहुत फखर है इस बात पर कि मेरा रिश्ता टीसीएफ से वाबस्ता है और हम एक ही कॉज के ऊपर जिस तरह से टीसीएफ बहुत बड़े पैमाने पे बच्चों पे काम कर रहा है तो ये बच्चे हमारे लिए बहुत खास हैं आप बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हो जब एक लॉन्ग टाइम के अरसे के बाद जब बच्चे वापस आए तो बच्चों के अंदर एक مختلف किस्म की तब्दीलियां देखी गई उन तब्दीलियों में जो सबसे अहम चीज थी कि बच्चे बहुत ज्यादा डरे हुए बहुत ज्यादा मुस्तरे बहुत ज्यादा परेशान कि पता नहीं अब क्या होगा क्योंकि आपको पता है गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से भी डिफरेंट किस्म की चैलेंजेस थे मास्क वेयर करना सोशल डिस्टेंस को बरकरार रखना इसके अलावा जो है कि कहते हैं एक लॉन्ग टाइम के बाद स्कूल बंद था तो वो जो एक रेगुलरिटी बच्चों के अंदर थी स्कूल आना स्कूल का यूनिफॉर्म असेंबली का इनकाद होना ये तमाम तरह जो चीजें थी तो इसकी वजह से ये सब चीजें क्योंकि रुकी हुई थी तो बच्चे इस जब स्कूल आए तो उनके लिए ये बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज था कि अब क्या होगा मुझे ये बताइए शुमाली जी कि जैसे हम यहाँ पे रेमिडिएशन प्रोग्राम्स का भी जिक्र कर रहे थे रिया साहब कि जाहिर सी बात है बच्चा इतने दिनों के बाद अपनी रूटीन में स्टूडेंट्स आ रहे हैं तो 
پہلا جو آپ نے سب پڑھایا تھا شاید وہ بھول گئے کیونکہ ایک تسلسل بھی نہیں تھا روزانہ پڑھائی نہیں ہو رہی تھی گھر میں ہو رہی تھی آن لائن آف لائن کے مسئلے ایکسیسبلٹی کنیکشن کے مسائل تو یہ جو پروگرام کا طریقہ کار ہے جس میں آہستہ آہستہ ان کو واپس روٹین میں لایا جا رہا ہے اس کے آپ نے کیا اثرات دیکھے کیا اس کو اسٹوڈنٹس نے پسند کیا آپ لوگوں کی ایز اے ٹیچر ایز اے پرنسپل اس کے بارے میں کیا اپنے بہت ہی میں کہنا چاہوں تو بہت ہی زبردست تھا کیونکہ لاک ڈاؤن کے بعد اتنے لمبے عرصے کے بعد بچوں کا جو گیپ فلر تھا ان کے لاسز کو اوور کم کرنے کے لیے بہت زیادہ ضروری تھا کہ کیسے ان بچوں کی جو ہے وہ اسٹڈی کو جو ہے وہ دوبارہ سے روٹین کے اوپر لے کر آئے تو اس کے لیے میں ٹی سی ایف کی شکر گزار ہوں ایز اے پرنسپل میں یہ کہنا چاہوں گی کہ جس طریقے سے ٹی سی ایف نے جیسے راج صاحب بھی بتا رہے تھے کہ آغاز اور ریمیڈیشن پروگرام کا انعقاد کیا گیا یہ ایک بہت خوش آئند اقدام تھا ٹی سی ایف کی طرف سے ان بچوں کے کیونکہ اس کو ایک بہت ڈفرینٹ طریقے سے کیا گیا جس میں پورے ہول اسکول کے بچوں کا انالسس کیا گیا کہ ہمارے بچے اتنے لانگ ٹائم کے بعد آئے ہیں تو ان میں کون سی کمزوریاں ہیں جن پر ہمیں کام کرنا پڑے گا تو اس کے لیے ڈائگنوسٹنگ ٹیسٹ جو ہے وہ متعارف کروایا گیا وہ ڈائگنوسٹنگ ٹیسٹ پورے ہول اسکول کے بچوں کا جب لیا گیا تو ان کی ان کے جو کمزوریاں کمزور پہلو تھے وہ بالکل سامنے آئے اور اس کی مدد سے پھر ہم نے ان کا ریمیڈیشن پروگرام اور یا پھر آغاز کا جو سلسلہ تھا وہ کیا اور لٹریسی اور نیمریسی دو ایسی بنیادی چیزیں ہیں جن کے اوپر ورک کرتے ہوئے الحمد للہ ابھی ریمیڈیشن کے اوپر ورکنگ جاری ہے ہماری اور امید کی جاتی ہے کہ آہستہ آہستہ وقت کے سال یا دے اینڈ جب سال مکمل ہو جائے گا ان شاء اللہ ان شاء اللہ تو کافی حد تک بچوں میں چینجنگس آئیں گی اگر آپ چاہیں تو میں یہاں پہ ایک چھوٹی سی ایگزامپل کوٹ کر سکتی ہوں میرے ایک میرے ایک اسٹوڈنٹ ہیں ابو تراب نام ہے ان کا کلاس فور کے اسٹوڈنٹ ہے لاک ڈاؤن کے بعد جب اسکول اوپن ہوا نا تو وہ اسکول نہیں آ رہے تھے کہ پتہ نہیں میرا کام مکمل نہیں ہے میں کیا کروں گا مجھے کچھ نہیں آ رہا کیونکہ آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ جن ایریاز میں ہم ہیں وہاں پر نیٹ کی سہولیات بھی میسر نہیں ہیں تو بچوں کو جب ہوم ورک دیا جاتا تھا تو وہ ہوم ورک کچھ بچے مکمل کر لیتے تھے جو ان ٹچ رہتے تھے اور کچھ نہیں کر پاتے تھے تو ان کے دل میں یہ ڈر تھا کہ میرے پاس تو کام نہیں ہے تو میں کیسے کروں گا یہ سب کچھ تو آپ یقین کریں جب ان کو ان کے پیرنٹس سے بات چیت کرنے کے بعد انہیں جب اسکول بلایا گیا اور ان کا ڈائگنوسٹک ٹیسٹ دیا میں نے ان سے بات چیت کی کہ بیٹے آپ نے آنا ہے ان شاء اللہ آپ سب سیکھ جائیں گے تو اب مجھے میم آپ کو بتاتے ہوئے اتنی خوشی ہو رہی ہے کہ وہ بچہ ریمیڈیشن پروگرام کا حصہ ہے اور الحمد للہ ابھی ریسنٹلی لاسٹ منتھ میں ٹی ون ٹیسٹ ہوئے ہمارے اور وہ بہترین کارکردگی سے جو ہے وہ انہوں نے پیپر بھی پاس کیا تو یہ ایک بہت زبردست چیز ہے بالکل بالکل اور شمالہ جی جیسے اکثر کہا جاتا ہے نا اگر بچے کے دل میں پڑھائی کا رزلٹ کا امتحان کا خوف بیٹھ جائے تو پھر وہ کبھی بھی آگے پڑھ نہیں سکتا بیکاز اس کو ہمیشہ ڈر لگا رہے گا جو آتا بھی ہوتا ہے بچوں کو وہ بھول جاتے ہیں لیکن مجھے بتائیں جیسے آپ نے شروع میں مینشن کیا کہ ایک خوف اوور آل ہی پوری دنیا میں خوف کی فضا تھی تو اس کا اثر یقیناً بچوں کی ذہنی صحت ان کی مینٹل ہیلتھ پہ بھی پڑا ہے اور جن علاقوں کی ہم بات کر رہے ہیں وہاں تو کئی لوگوں نے مالی مشکلات کا بھی سامنا کیا کئی لوگوں کی نوکریاں چلی گئیں کاروبار بند ہو گئے یہ سب چیزیں انہی بچوں کے انوائرمنٹ میں ہو رہی تھیں ان کی ارد گرد ہو رہی تھیں کئی پیرنٹس ایسے بھی ہوں گے جن کے پاس شاید ان کے مالی حالات اتنے خراب ہو گئے کہ وہ اپنے بچے کا اسکول بھی آگے افورڈ نہ کر پائیں تو بچہ بھی یہ ساری باتیں سن رہا ہے محسوس کر رہا ہے ان کی مینٹل ویل بینگ کے لیے جو انیشیٹو لیے جا رہے ہیں جیسے خیر مقدم پروگرام کی بات کی گئی اس کا آپ کیا اثر دیکھ رہی ہیں ان بچوں کا بہت زبردست پروگرام ہے اگر میں اس کے حوالے سے آپ سے کہوں کہ جب اسٹارٹ میں اسکول اوپن ہوئے تو آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ اسمبلی کا انعقاد نہیں ہو رہا تھا اور اسمبلی ایک ایسا فورم ہوتا ہے جس پہ پورا ہول اسکول ایک وقت کے اندر جو ہے وہ پریزنٹ ہوتا ہے لیکن اسی اسمبلی کے نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے خیر مقدم کو متعارف کروایا گیا خیر مقدم کے اندر ہونے والی سرگرمیاں اتنی زبردست ہیں کہ ان کے ذریعے سے اساتذہ کو اور ہم سب کو اپنے بچوں کے بارے میں پتہ چلا یہ جیسے آپ نے کہا نا کہ ویل بینگ بچوں کو بہت زیادہ ویل بینگ کی ضرورت تھی جیسا کہ بڑوں کو تھی ویسے بچوں کو بھی تھی کیونکہ بچوں کو وہ جو ایک آپ نے کہا نا کہ اسٹڈی کا خوف کہ اب ہم کیا ہوگا اب ہم کیسے کریں گے تو یہ ایک بہت ضروری چیز تھی کہ ہم کیسے کنٹرول کریں اس چیز کے اوپر تو خیر مقدم ایک ایسی بہترین سرگرمی ہے جس کے ذریعے سے ہمیں بچوں کے اندر بہت ساری سماجی بہت ساری معاشی اسکلس کو ڈیولپ کرنے کا موقع ملا اس کی میں ایک میں آپ میں مطلب جیسے آپ سے شیئر
उनकी समाजी नशोनुमा की जा सके वो कम्युनिकेट कर सके अब चूंकि बच्चों के अंदर ना अपनी इजहार राय का मौका उन्हें बहुत कम मिलता है तो ये जो सरगर्मियां थी एक्टिविटीज थी इतनी जबरदस्त हैं कि जैसे आप कभी किसी का शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहते हैं किसका करना चाहते हैं आज आपका दिन कैसा गुजरा आप कैसा महसूस करते हैं ये वो सवाल थे जो बच्चों को इनकरेज करते हैं बोलने पर ऐसे बच्चे आ, मैं मैं आपको बताऊं एक बच्ची है सना नाम की बहुत कम गो है तो जब उनसे आ, मुझे टीचर ने शेयर किया कि मैम जब हमने उनसे पूछा कि बेटा आप कब बहुत ज्यादा खुश होती है तो उन्होंने कहा मिस मैं तब बहुत ज्यादा खुश होती हूँ जब मैं स्कूल आती हूँ तो उन्होंने कहा जब मैं स्कूल आती हूँ तो आप कब बहुत ज्यादा उदास थे तो मैं तब बहुत ज्यादा उदास थी जब स्कूल बंद था तो ये वो चीजें हैं इजहार राय का जो मौका खैर मकदम के जरिए से दिया गया इसके अलावा कुछ एक्टिविटीज इतनी जबरदस्त थी क्या आप कभी किसी का शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहते हैं आपने क्या कभी किसी की मदद की है क्या आप आप चाहते हैं कि आपका इलाका ऐसा हो आपका आपके आप स्कूल बंद हो जाएंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा स्कूल खुले हैं तो आपको कैसा महसूस हो रहा है तो ये वो तमाम तर चीजें थी जो कि बहुत जबरदस्त एक्टिविटी है खैर मकदम की सूरत में मैं चाहूंगी कि अभी जैसे स्कूल ओपन हो गया है खैर मकदम को थोड़ा शॉर्ट किया गया है लेकिन ये होना चाहिए ताकि हमारे बच्चों की ऐसी ही वेलबींग होती रहे और उनका आ, उनका कॉन्फिडेंस उनके अंदर अपनी बात करने का जो एक इजहार राय का जो उनका मौका दिया Uh, for the interest of our viewers who do not understand Urdu, let me just quickly wrap up of all the amazing things that you shared. You spoke of a program and initiative called Khair Maktam, which is equivalent to a zero-period kind of an activity that most private schools have, and it allows the child to start the day the way they feel fit. They can they can play around, they can express themselves, and you're so right because it helps out in the child's mental awareness. and his own self reflection he's compassionate and he understands his own emotion there's so many times we take it for granted that a child is feeling something but he doesn't or she doesn't have the vocabulary to express it by giving them that safe space where they are able to express themselves i think it goes a long way but shamila ji i cannot end this session without asking you one key question jis tarah hum dekh rahe hain ki bachchon ki mental well being ke liye ye initiatives liye gaye hain unko welcome back kiya gaya hai We cannot ignore the teachers. मुझे बताइए कि teachers के लिए भी ये pandemic उतना ही tough time था. उनको एक you know उनकी mental well-being को किस तरह prioritize किया जा रहा है? उनको किस किस्म की support किसी आप दे रहा है? बिल्कुल teachers के हवाले से भी अगर किया जाए तो teachers के लिए भी circle time activities का जो है वो एक दाम उठाया गया. उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है क्योंकि हमारा teacher और हमारा बच्चा बहुत अहम है हमारे लिए. अगर हमारा टीचर उस तरीके से काम करेगा जैसे हम चाहते हैं जैसा इदारा हमसे चाहता है तो वही चीजें हमारे बच्चों के अंदर भी डेवलप होंगी तो सर्कल टाइम एक्टिविटी के अंदर ऐसा था कि बहुत सारी एग्जांपल्स हैं जैसे कि उसमें भी हम ये होता है कि बाजूकत हमें सिर्फ हम टीचर को सिर्फ इतना ही जान पाते हैं कि वो पढ़ा रहे हैं हम उनसे हमें उनसे बात करने का मौका नहीं मिलता तो टीचर्स के लिए सर्कल टाइम एक्टिविटी को जो मुतारिफ करवाया गया उसमें बहुत सारी एक्टिविटीज हैं जिसमें टीचर से बातचीत की जाती है वो भी अपनी इजहार करते हैं उनको उनको अप्रिशिएट किया जाता है उनकी चीजों के ऊपर उन्हें उनको सराहा जाता है मुख्तलि किस्म के कामों के ऊपर तो ये एक बहुत जो है वो अच्छी चीज थी जिस तरह से बच्चों की वेलबींग जरूरत जरूरी थी इस तरह से इस की वेलबींग के लिए भी टी सी एफ ने जो है वो काफी हद तक काम किया है थैंक यू सो मच शुमाला जी थैंक यू फॉर मेकिंग टाइम फॉर आस एंड शेयरिंग दीज वंडरफुल स्टोरीज हाउ टी सी एफ इज हैंड होल्डिंग द स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज द टीचर्स एंड दकेडीमिया इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ए प्रायोरिटाइज देयर मेंटल वेल बींग एंड ऑल्सो टू बी कॉग्नाजेंट एंड टू कम अपज अमेजिंग स्ट्रैटीज विच विल रेमेडी द लर्निंग लॉसेज सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बींग हेयर and thank you to all of you who've been watching us and have been a part of this conversation once again i'd like to say that this holiday season we are again hoping that the coming year is going to bring in new abundance blessings and joy for people all over the globe and we are asking for your support this is a time when we are close to our loved ones uh, the festivities all around us and we are grateful for every day and minute that we get but at the same time these challenges and these stark harsh realities are also the truth there are still so many students who need financial support in order to continue uh, their journey of learning 
of coming back to school, of being able to pursue their dreams and their joys. And we need your support. How can you come be a part of this? Um, once again, we are very grateful that uh, the TCF has been recognized as one of the top 25 um, worldwide projects, even by the Expo 2020, which is a testament to the promise it has for the underserved communities in Pakistan. And we'd love your support to come forward and be a part of this. No donation is a small amount. The way you can come be a part of it. I'd once again play the message at the very end. Um, there's a toll free number. There's an email address. There are a gazillion ways to reach us. And once again, from all of us at TCF, is wishing you a great festive season, wishing you great holidays and a very happy new year in advance. Come be a part of the revolution. Come be a part of this mission of compassion and uh, community camaraderie. So thank you once again for watching and being connected. We'll see you soon. Khuda Hafiz.